The development of the MiG-21 started in the early 1950s. A prototype designated YE-1 was designed, but was soon reworked to the YE-2 since the planned engine for the YE-1 was underpowered. The YE-1 and YE-2 were swept-wing designs, but the YE-4, which flew for the first time in June 1955, was a delta-wing design. The YE-4 was publicly displayed in July 1956. The MiG-21 was capable of Mach 2 speeds, and was equipped with an afterburner. It combined both fighter and interceptor characteristics in a single aircraft. However the MiG-21 had a short range. The placement of the internal fuel tanks on the first-generation aircraft, ahead of the center of gravity, made the aircraft unstable as the fuel was consumed. This led to an endurance of only 45 minutes, but this could be somewhat countered by carrying fuel in external tanks. Another problem was that when half of the fuel was used up, violent maneuvers could prevent fuel from reaching the engine, threatening to shut down the engine mid-flight. Later versions of the MiG-21 had an increased range, but the cost of this was worsening all other performance figures. One feature of the MiG-21 BIS was an additional fuel pump that could be used in the afterburning stage. While this threatened to overheat the engine, and also increased fuel usage, it gave the MiG-21 BIS a better than 1 to 1 thrust to weight ratio, and a climbing rate of 254 meters per second. This made the MiG-21 BIS equal to the F-16 in close quarters dogfights. However, this use of extra thrust was limited to 2 minutes. A total of 10,645 aircraft were built in the Soviet Union. 194 additional aircraft were built under license in Czechoslovakia and 657 were built in India. Because of the large quantity produced, the MiG-21 was a cheap aircraft to build. The first large-scale production variant of the MiG-21, the MiG-21F, entered service in the Soviet Air Force late 1959. The MiG-21PF, which was a considerably more advanced version, was demonstrated in 1961. Among other things, it was equipped with an R-1L radar. Between 1964 and 1970 a number of modified subvariants were produced. Later versions of the PF had an upgraded engine as well as an upgraded radar. In 1970, the MiG-21 MF entered service. It had an upgraded engine and an internal GSH-23 cannon. In the following years there would be several new versions of the MiG-21. The ultimate development of the MiG-21 was the MiG-21 BIS, which had a Tomonsky R25-3000 turbojet engine and a great number of other improvements. Several variants of the MiG-21 BIS were produced, and it became the standard export version. A number of upgrade packages for late model MiG-21s have been offered by Russia, and by several companies, including packages to make the aircraft compatible with NATO systems. China has made their own copies of the MiG-21, designated Chengdu J7 and F7. The MiG-21 has been active in many conflicts around the world. It was used by North Vietnam during the Vietnam War, and proved a challenging adversary to U.S. aircraft. It proved a worthy opponent to the U.S. F-4 Phantom II. North Vietnam claimed that 103 F-4 Phantoms were shot down by MiG-21s during the war, while 60 were lost in air combat. In later years, the MiG-21 has seen service in both the Libyan Civil War and the Syrian Civil War. While the Syrian Air Force operated MiG-21s, it is reported that a number of aircraft were also used by ISIL. Beside the Soviet Union, the MiG-21 has served in over 60 countries. In several of these countries it is still in service in 2020. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel.